to Greysbrook News. Hi, my name is Arthur Nergis and today we'll be bringing you up to date with a pressing environmental issue. But first, today's headline is the Queen coming down with the cold. Oh no, Donald Trump has opened his mouth again. And live news just in from the nursery where we've heard that yes, the chicks have hatched. But now, time for the main headline. Plastic is not fantastic. That's right, we are bringing you a special report on how plastic pollution is swamping our oceans and having a devastating effect on our planet. Across the world and in particular in the North Pacific Ocean, the plastic buildup is getting bigger every day. A huge plastic monster is growing. It is caused by the irresponsible acts of humans and is affecting innocent creatures. Over to our environmental correspondent who are going to explain how and why this is happening. So here we are at the landfill site. Oh, it stinks! <laughs> oh yes, and watch out for poisonous gases. What is a landfill site? When people throw away their rubbish, it goes into landfill. A landfill site is when waste materials are buried in massive holes in the ground. Around 80% of the plastic pollution in our ocean comes from land as litter or plastic blown by the wind from landfill sites. So it starts here. These are some of the many household items that can end up in our oceans from landfill sites. Let's follow their journey. Plastic is blown into rivers and streams which take them out to sea. This waste collects in what's called a gaia. A gaia is a place where currents meet and form a whirlpool. Millions of small and large plastic pieces clog in the whirlpool and remain trapped there. A gaia can be bigger than some countries. The largest is around twice the size of Texas. How long until the waste is gone? Wax curtain, three months. Plastic bag, 10 to 20 years. Plastic beverage holder, 400 years. One more, one more. 450 years. Fishing line, 600 years. Blimey, that sounds like forever. Yes, the plastic breaks down over time to become smaller and smaller pieces until eventually they become plastic dust or microplastic. This microplastic is invisible and will never go away. In fact, it's entering the food chain. Wow, so when we eat fish we might be eating plastic too? Yep, yeah, and this ocean plastic is killing wildlife right now. Let's go to our nature correspondent who are with a family of struggling albatross birds. Hi, I'm Stephanie Batchel and today we are going to meet the deadliest thing on the planet. Hi, I'm Wolf Grills and I'm with the family of albatross that live on the beautiful island called Midway Atoll. Mm. Don't feed that poor little chick plastic. I thought it was squid. I've come all the way from Alaska. Are you telling me you have no food in here? So we travel thousands of miles over oceans and we see this food, I mean plastic, in the water and it's killing us. Alarmingly, 1.5 million albatross live in Midway and all of you have plastic in your stomach. In fact, one third of your chicks have died because of the plastic you mistaken for food. Speaking of chicks, one's just hatched. We are the canary in the coal mine for you. We are dying due to these plastics. Ooh, look, fish! No. We are the warning sign. By 2050, scientists predict there'll be more plastic in the ocean than fish! Something needs to be done. When nature is destroyed, we will be next. Back to the studio. Frightening stuff from Midway Island there. It's time to find out what can be done about this devastating issue. Now we are live with a family from Greenstone Newton who are campaigning for this plastic problem to end. Hi, we're the Green family. We are good stuff doing to people who love to recycle. So where does this plastic problem start? This horrific plastic problem starts in the bin. Consumers in the UK only recycle one third of their plastic packaging. Did you know that every minute a rubbish truck of plastic is ending up in our oceans? A truck every minute! So what can we do to help? We would never let our world down. We respect the three R's. Reduce, reuse and recycle. Without recycling, you could endanger Midway Island and all the cute little adorable albatross chicks. 
Anyway, we would like to encourage you to start recycling and to help our planet. Greenpeace are helping us. We're campaigners. Greenpeace, delicious! It's simple. Take a shopping bag. The UK uses 100 billion plastic bags a year. And only 5 million are recycled. Just to reuse, plastic bags can save wildlife. So, reduce, reuse, recycle. Save our planet. Great to see our viewers care. Thank you, Green Family. That's right, only we can save our planet. If this major crisis continues, the damage will be irreversible and devastating for our planet. And that's all for today's news. Thanks for watching.